Real quick, before this video starts, this is a tribute video to Nixon's exotic reptiles, so go follow him, guys. And yeah, let's play the video. All right, so we got a pretty interesting video today. So I owe this fan that I sold some lizards to or whatever, and supposedly that the thing that I sold them to, one of them had um, snake mites, and that was a complete accident. So I told him, like, look, man, I'll, I'll make it up to you about this, blah, blah, that. And um, so, yeah, I'm pretty much going to go out. Um, he was supposed to come with me. He has a YouTube channel. I'll shout him out at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, he was supposed to come to me and, um, we were supposed to go out, hike together, and hopefully catch something for him to take home. But, sadly, he can't do that. So, I'm just gonna go out by himself. He said to make a YouTube video out of it. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And, yeah, let's get into this. But first, let's feed the bearded dragon, because beard dragon's kind of dope. Homie right now, got the blue tongue skink basking and this tortoise out here adventuring. I'm about to give him some greens too. The roaches that I'm gonna feed to the bearded dragon have been gut loading on some cantaloupe. So yeah, they're gonna be nice and full of fat contents. The females right here and those burgundy things on the back of their booty hole, huh? Um, those are egg sacs. So yeah, that's pretty much, um, they don't just lay eggs. The eggs are actually in that thing and it's just like a sack full of eggs, pretty much. And then if you look over here, this is where most of the things stay. And then down over there, there's even more. So the colony is doing great. So let's get some of these for the beardy. I've been mainly feeding the beardy um, hissing roaches lately. So yeah, he's missed his continental roaches. Let's get one more. And then I'll feed some off camera. Look at this boy. Look at that dude, he's about to shed. He has some shed on his nose that I'll get off in a little. All right, one more roach that has some calcium. Yeah, and then I'll give him some veggies off camera. Also some veggies for the sulcata and the little bluey. Actually, real quick, I think I'm gonna bless you guys real quick and I'm gonna feed one of my tarantulas, one of the slings. To be exact. I'll try feeding the pink foot um, goliath bird eating tarantula I have just because I need to feed it today. So why not do it on camera for y'all real quick? Be giving her one roach and it's pretty small. Just because, oh damn, that was fast. So yeah, she was hungry, but look at those colors. Can't, oh. She wants one more, but I'm not going to give it to her just because look at that freaking abdomen. It's already huge. And I feed it pretty often within the week. So just my freaking luck. It's hella smoky outside. See, it's hella orange. It smells like smoke. I don't know how I could show you guys, but yeah, so I might not be able to spend as much time as I want to out looking for stuff. And hopefully the place I'm going to isn't like smoking or anything. But yeah, damn. All right guys, so I just made it to the hike trail. And it's not that sunny because, hey, look at this. As you can tell it's really smoky. The smoke is actually blocking out the sun. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get lucky. Um, Just my luck, you know what I'm saying? Lucky boy Chris out here. There had to be a fire. And hopefully it doesn't spread to where I am right now because I love hiking here. There's a lot of nature. It's really close to my house. I can skate in like 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, that will suck, but. Yeah, man, let's get into this. All right, guys, I found a little woodland area that has some water. And I just found the first herp of the day. Let's see if you guys could try to spot it. It's kind of hard, but right about... Crap, I even lost it. Oh, there it is. Right there. I believe this is a leopard tree frog. Trying to make the catch. Oh, damn it. Oh, there's a bunch. Okay. That's one. Let's see how many I can catch real quick. There's a little baby right there. There's two. And you know what? I'll put the camera away and then I'll show you pretty much what I catch after that. Guys, so I just flipped this rock. 
look at this wolf spider usually these are way 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 more dark this one seems to be and i don't want to sound dumb i don't know much about spiders and if they could be albino but this one looks albino if you look up um, wolf spiders they are not supposed to be this color so this is really cool and after flipping that rock i also found this little toad so yeah this is the western toad and yeah this little guy right here is probably eating some of these wolf spiders um when it was smaller these ants there's a bunch of flies flying around here so yeah it's pretty dope I so I caught a few of these frogs and add them in this container just in case they get out and you can see they have different colors so these frogs are pretty interesting because as you can see the surrounding there's a bunch there's a lot of colors pretty much that they could blend into or their genes will allow them to blend into so I've seen um I've seen darker ones that look more like dirt they're like brownish um there's these really brightly colored orange ones that um, match more with the leaves the oak leaves so i've also seen green ones when it's real foresty you'll see um, a few green ones green and brown so yeah you can just see the surrounding area and there'll be always a bunch of different colored frogs so that's something that's pretty interesting about these guys And you can see why they're called leopard tree frogs. They have that leoparding patterning. They have that leopard patterning on their back and that stripe across their eye. Really, really cool. This is one of the, oh, damn it. This is one of the frogs close up. Here, let's try to get it to stop. Then I'll be able to record it better. That there's not that container in the way. I'm not, I'm not hurting the frog, but yeah. As you can see, as those... Okay, I think this would be better. So as these suction cup fingertips and toe tips, you can tell they're a tree frog because of that. And also, just how their body is. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, that's a tree frog. See that leoparding pattern? Leopard patterning. Sorry guys, my dyslexia is slapping. But yeah. I think I've spent enough time here looking for stuff. Let's go somewhere else and hopefully I'll be able to find a snake or a lizard. Alright, so I found another thing. Don't know what type of animal this is. Possibly a squirrel, but I don't think so because the grayness. Yeah, look at that. Bunch of ants have just cleaned this freaking skull kind of tempted in taking that skull cleaning it and having it part of an enclosure yeah there's another i think no that's not but yeah so the body isn't anywhere to be found coyote probably ate that um yeah this is the size comparison to my hand pretty small just look at that damn Pretty freaking interesting, man. Nature never fails to excite you. All right, I just seen a little fence lizard basking on this rock, trying to get some heat because the sun ain't out. And it went under, so see if I could catch it for y'all, left-handed. Okay, there it is. Don't want to drop the rock on it, damn it. Okay, wait, hold up. This still might be able to happen okay switch hands real quick and, oh. ah there we go look at that little guy right there hold up we focus these freaking flies won't oh my gosh it's jumped upside down what hold up okay freaking flies bro all right so here's the fence lizard don't want to hurt it so yeah this one's probably shed about three times 
Look at that. And a little cool fact about these guys is it's really easy to tell males from females. Obviously this one's too small to be able to tell, but the males are the ones that have the beautiful blue bellies and the females have like, kind of like this. It's like faint light blue. So yeah, let's put this little guy back real quick. Hey, dig. That. It's playing dead. Hold up. You good, bro? What's wrong with you? Look at you. See how he's wiggling his tail? He thinks I'm a predator, so he wants me to go for the tail so he could drop it. He uses it as like a bait. Look at that. He's still out there jiggling his tail. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we can find a new herb. Found this pretty dope spider. Don't really know the species. See its eyes reflecting from the light of my phone. And yeah, nothing else really here. She does have an egg sac though. So let's put her back. <sighs> Guys, I have just found the most beautifully colored frog that I think I'll ever be able to find. Look at this guy. Damn, he sounds like a helicopter. Hold up, I do not want to lose him. There he is right there. He is gold. Crap. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Get him compared to the leaves. Don't lose him. Dude, just look at those colors. And look look at where his surroundings are. That's what I'm talking about, guys. These frogs are freaking amazing. He is the color of the dirt slash sand around him. And... That just so happens that the color that works for him best is freaking gold. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful find. And if these flies don't get the hell out of my face, I'm about to shoot every single fly with the salt shaker. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Among his bone. And I think this is gonna be a decoration for one of my tanks. So I'm gonna take this and I'll sanitize this at home. But yeah, I just found this little area. Wanted to get a few shots of where I'm at. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Haven't really explored right here, so just want a few clips of me just seeing what I can see for the first time and you guys seeing what I see for the first time as well. So yeah. Is something in that hole? Nope. So yeah, guys, this has been a lot of empty walking, not finding stuff. So again, there's no sun to be found. So there's no reptiles really out. Um, the only thing I could expect to see that's a reptile is um, some alligator lizards, just because this is good temperature for them. But I don't think... The REM cycle was really used to it being this cold out of the blue, so unless it stayed this cold for a couple of days, that's the only time they would actually start to just come out around this time naturally. Because they'll switch from being nocturnal to diurnal depending on the temperatures around them. So like when it's too hot in the summer, you'll see them. Damn. It's my sister's boards, guy. This is my sister's board, guys. But yeah, during summer when it's really hot, they'll be coming out at night. So you'll usually be seeing them during nighttime. Hi guys, I think I'm going to call it the end of the day. It's been like three or four hours. And I haven't really been finding anything. Other than just a few amphibians and stuff. I found this weird pathway. And I'm going to see where that takes me. Hopefully I could skate that down and get home faster. But yeah, I'm going to get home. Um and finish off the video there. Finally able to make it home. 
don't mind the McDonald's. I was munching, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So these are the frogs that I've already had. Or toads. That little guy, that's the really small one that was that did not want to eat. And it was getting bullied. And from the whole trip I just went on, these are what I've decided to or decided that I'm gonna be giving to the fan that I own. Um, I might just give him like one or two. But yeah. See the nice beautiful reds. And yeah guys. So one by one I'll be adding them into here. Crap. So you don't all escape. I don't think I'm gonna be doing one by one, but so yeah, that one's really lightly colored. These ones are more darker. It's pretty interesting. Beautiful reds though. Not gonna lie. And then finally this little guy. Let's get it. All right, guys, last little update. I decided to add more substrate. Just because there are more of these frogs in here now, or toads. So that they'll be able to colonize their own little part of this area. And again, I'm not going to keep these all in here for permanent. This is just for now until I'm able to give the few that I'm going to give to the fan. And yeah, guys, I hope this video was lit. That one's munching on some um, roaches I gave them right now. Some baby roaches. Them right there. And yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Let me know if this is a good video idea. Um, catch and keep and give it to the fans. And to show my appreciation for everyone that's been on my TikTok and all that. Everyone's that been liking my YouTube and all that. If you subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, post notifications, blah, blah, blah. And you live near me, um, I'll do another episode of Catch and catch and give away, I guess. Catch and keep, but then I give away to a fan. And yeah, just contact me in the comments. And I'll pick randomly who I'll do it to. And you might be able to win something either cooler than a toad, a little bit less than a toad. I don't know. It'll be free 99 and yeah. Hi right, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> so remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Late. Late!